And I'm not even light skinned. I don't understand why I have such a big ass forehead. That's not even fucking, that don't even go together. Yeah, no makeup because I don't feel like wearing that shit today. I really don't. It's too fucking hot to be wearing makeup every day any goddamn way. I don't know why everyone feels like I have to wear makeup every motherfucking video. Like as if I'm fucking ugly. As if I was not ticking y'all niggas before I was wearing makeup. Alrighty, what's up everybody? It's your boy Therese Bible and I'm back with another video for you guys. Okay, so this video is going to be another topic video. So the last topic video that I did, the views went up like really fast and y'all really liked that video. So I was like, <laughs> why not do another one? So basically there was this person that DM me. I'm trying to see if he DM me before or after the last video. I really don't remember, but I do know he he um he messaged me about it. So we're gonna do another advice topic. As y'all can tell. From the title below, it says, my boyfriend left me like real fast or something like that. I don't know. I'm a title in that um, in that category. Um, so yeah. One of the main reasons why I wanted to do this video is because it kind of is a little similar to the situation I'm going through like right now. So I talked to somebody or whatever. And you know, I like him. He's, he's cool. You know, the vibe's good. Everything's good. You know what I'm saying? But... I'm just now single like I just got out of a relationship and I'm not trying to hop into another one so I'm kind of like trying to slow things down with him because he I don't know it's kind of weird he's he's you know I, I, he likes skin and if my soulmate is not meant to be light skin <laughs> period let's just get into this video so I'm gonna read what the boy DM me for the um, so boom so he said okay so dude came out the blue saying I don't I don't think um, I'm ready for a relationship. Like that shit really hit me different. Like nigga, what the fuck we've been doing? You know, met my aunt and all. We've been together every day. We even fuck raw. He's talking about I just want us to get scraped first. Like what the fuck is that supposed to mean? And he said that it's not, and nothing has to change. I just want us um, to get our things together first. Okay, real short and simple. So basically, to put everything in a nutshell, you was talking to this dude, everything was going well, and then out of the blue, he was basically just like, you know, I want to stop talking, like I want to slow down or, you know, get out of this relationship and, you know, focus on myself or get myself together first. Okay, so this, this, this is my thing with this. The first thing I would say, we do have to give him his respect because at least he told you like early on, like obviously he was feeling some type of way, like y'all was probably going too fast or you know, he was having second guesses about certain things. And instead of just leading you on and going to the relationship and just see if it'll change, he decided to actually, you know, contact him like, hey, look, I feel like, you know, we need to, you know, change some things before we really like tie the knot. So I will, you, you have to give him a respect on that thing. I feel like he is still a little shitty. I will say that he's still a little shitty because, you know, y'all, like you said, you guys are, like, he met your aunt, and obviously your aunt is someone that's very important to you, and then you also said that you guys even have unprotected sex, which means that y'all should be really comfortable with each other, especially in the gay community, and you know how things are, like, that is a step that, you know, it, and for me, it will take me a while to take, so I definitely completely understand, you know, why you're frustrated with him, um, he said he wants to get his things together first. I know what he means by that. Like I told y'all, I can kind of relate. So I'm talking to this dude and me and him are doing really good. Like the vibe is good, the vibe is well. And like he hints that he wants to, you know, take things further and, you know, try to go on dates and who's texting me? Okay, whatever. So boom, so yeah, he said that he's trying to, oh, what was I saying? So yeah, so basically like he wants to go further and like actually, you know, start dating kind of, but I'm kind of like slow, like kind of like, trying to just slow the process mainly because one i just got a relationship and then two i need to get my shit together first there's just so many things that i feel like i have the opportunity to do now and i don't want to be get in a relationship and then be a bestie in a relationship and lose focus on the things i'm trying to get together career-wise like because when you're in a relationship you you especially when you're in a honeymoon phase that person becomes Damn near your everything, like you really just become infatuated with that person and y'all spend a lot of time with each other. It's just like the whole situation when people say, oh, um, like when you know when you get in a relationship, you get fat, it's called happy weight. 
bitch, it's because y'all are newly dating, so y'all go out to eat a lot, and that's all y'all fucking doing. Y'all always want to spend time with each other, and y'all always want to eat. Those two things cause y'all motherfuckers to get fat. A relationship can be distracting. A relationship can be really distracting. Like, it can really stop you from just getting your shit together because you're just so focused on that person and you lose yourself in that person. Which can be a good thing or it can be a bad thing because you can have someone that motivates you to do better or you can just have someone that not necessarily motivates you to not do nothing on purpose, but like y'all just y'all just in love and all y'all want to do is lay up. It is completely understandable. And I feel like that's probably where he's coming from. He probably doesn't have a car. He wants to get a car. He probably trying to get his career lifted up. He's probably trying to get this new job. He's probably trying to, you know, pay off loans that he probably owes. Like, who knows? Really, I really don't know the depths of y'all, like his information. But that can be a reason of why he wants like, hey, you know, we're kind of going too fast. I kind of want to slow down and get my stuff together. Which is nothing wrong with that because I feel like one of the biggest mistakes people make in a relationship is just depending on their significant other for everything and not really focusing on themselves and not loving themselves and you know you have to really be your own person you can't truly love someone or you truly can't motivate someone or do something for somebody else if you can't even do that for yourself you know it's like y'all leeching on to each other for comfort and eat and y'all taking so much that y'all not giving nothing and it just it, it can be shitty like you can you guys can get together now and then like a fucking months from now he'd be like if i never was with you i would have you know i don't know it, it could be a lot so i kind of understand where he's coming from but i also do feel like you know that doesn't just pop up in his head one day it had to be a process so for him to allow you guys to get so comfortable like him meeting your aunt and you guys having unprotected sex and you know being with each other every single day it's like nigga you've been thinking about this for a minute just to tell me so like what the fuck you know it's, it's not you know mm. I would definitely feel some type of way too, especially if you got my coochie. You got some of my coochie and then now you're trying to <laughs> bat bat, you're trying to go away because you don't want to puff stuff. Because that's what you're going to have to do. Because you're not going to hunch on me and then be like, oh, we should slow down. No, bitch, you should slowly come back to my motherfucking house and eat my pussy. I don't know. So that could be one thing. Um, What else did you basically say? And then he said things don't have to change. See, this is where I'm kind of mm, with him because you can't get your cake and eat it too. You can't. Like I said in my last video, you can't do relationship shit without being in a relationship. You don't get both, motherfucker. If we're going to be in a relationship, we're going to be in a relationship. You're not going to get the relationship privileges without being in a relationship. You know, and it's like you kind of don't want to make up your mind. And now you're getting on my nerves and now you're being childish. Now you got to get blocked, sus, because you're getting on my goddamn nerve. Make up your mind, period. That's just what it is. Make up your goddamn mind. Like, it, it's really just that simple. Like... It's not, it's, not that, it's not that fucking difficult, really, to be honest. Don't let him play you like that. Like, let him know, like, I understand if you want to get yourself together, that's cool. I can't stop you from wanting to do better for yourself. What you're not going to do is leave me on a needle and thread, like, if you want to be together or if you don't. We're not going to sit there and be together every day and go on dates and have sex and do all this cute shit like we're in a relationship. But at the same time, you're being distant and you're trying to focus on yourself. You need to focus on yourself by your goddamn self. And when you're ready to fully commit to me, if I want to, because now you put the ball in my court. And that's what I want you to know. The ball is no longer in his court. It's in yours. Because he said he wants space to get himself together. Okay, so you can get yourself together, but I'm not going to wait around forever. I might, even, I might not even wait around for a week. I'm just saying, like, I can't be missing out opportunities because you want to play games. Like, one man's trash is another man's treasure. So, like, while you sitting here trying to figure out what you want to do, it could be a whole nigga with money that's trying to cuff me and take me to a motherfucking Paris. And I'm not going to go on a Paris trip so I can talk to you. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. don't have no turkey. I'm like, <laughs> because at this point, <laughs> I'm going with the money. <laughs> period. Period. Like, no, seriously, period. Like, no, seriously. Like, for real. Like, don't wait up on him. Like, I don't think you have to completely shut him out of your life. But I feel like the ball is in your court now, sis. So you have to be mature and be like, okay, he told me that he's not 100% ready. So I can be a dumb bitch and continue to mess with him knowing that I'm 100% ready. Or I can focus on my goddamn self while he's focused on himself. The ball is in your court. So, so it's honestly up to you what you want to do. I don't know if I said it at the beginning of the video or not, but this is two guys. So I know how gay relationships can be. They're very short-lived. Like... Do you, like, someone dating for, like, six months in the gay world is, like, in dog years. Like, what's dog years? Every seven years a year? So, 
if every seven way no every every I don't fucking know what it is, but gay motherfuckers break up real fast because cheating is like one of the main things, and they they love to say lose interest. No, you're a whore. You're you're it's two men. What do you expect? They lose interest like a motherfucker. You know everybody can't be me and make you stay in love for a long time. Just can't do it. But yeah, so that's that. Um, what I think you should honestly do, I think you should respect yourself enough to allow him to go. You know, if someone wants to be free, let them be free. Don't hold on to no man that don't want to be held on. It's not cute. It makes you look very thrifty. And you's a bad bitch. And you don't have to scratch over no nigga because you can get plenty more. Plenty more. Like, it's a million niggas that look exactly like him. That probably act exactly like him. They can do exactly what he can do. Okay? Unless they're me, because it's only one of me, bitch. It made me realize some things, even with my situation. Like I told you, like I, I don't really want to go the next step with the dude that I'm talking to. And, he, and if he if he was to start talking to someone else, like I can't even get mad. But like I just like you said, some sometimes you just gotta focus on yourself. But at the same time, while other people are focused on themselves, don't lynch onto them. Let them go. Let people go. Okay, especially the fact that he told you from the get-go, bitch. He told you from the get-go, so the choice is yours to be a dumb bitch or not. And you don't want to be a dumb bitch. No one wants to be a dumb bitch. That's not your mama raised you better than that. Period. Pooh. Alrighty, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, another one of my videos. Like I said in every single last video, the love and the support is honestly amazing. I truly appreciate every single last one of you guys. Um, these videos that I've been making have been so goddamn fun. And it is so amazing. All Everything that's been going on. We're going to continue to have fun. Do our thing. And I'll see you hoes in the next video. Right now. You are now tuned in. Pin Crispy. I'm still going.